And that is why we don't just keep quiet when we are praying. We pray it out. Because when you hear your prayer also, it is the word of God ministering to you. And faith is built up in the process. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are going to have more prayer because um, today we've been praying and fasting. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We need to know that what will happen in Agege is not determined in Agege. It's determined here. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And so we can set the laws of the spirit before we even get there. We can set the boundaries of what should happen before we get there. So what we pray is important. In Acts chapter 13, Acts chapter 13, verse 48. Amen. Amen. Acts of the Apostles chapter 13, verse 48. We are going to read all the way or pray through all the way 52 if we have the time. Acts chapter 13 from verse 48. Now when the Gentiles heard this, when they heard the word of God, the unbelievers, they were glad and glorified the word of the Lord. Praise the Lord. And as many as had been appointed to eternal life believed. Aren't we glad that it was not everybody? He says, and as many as had been appointed to eternal life, they believed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When they heard the word, they were glad and they glorified the word of the Lord. Anytime we receive the word of the Lord with gladness, and glorify the word. It will produce instant miracle. Amen. Amen. And the Bible said, as many as have been appointed to eternal life, they believed. I want us to pray this evening that as it happened in the word of God, that it will happen again. Praise the Lord. That as many as we hear the word, as we go out to preach, as we go for the outreach, Friday, Saturday, even Sunday, as many as that will hear the word of the Lord, they will receive it gladly. Yeah. And they will glorify the word of the Lord. Yeah. And all those that the Lord has appointed unto eternal life, unto salvation, that they will believe the word when they hear it. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Amen. So it means that even in Agege game, there are people that have been appointed for eternal life. And so our prayer is that the word will locate them and that they will receive the word in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's lift up our voice and begin to pray this evening. Lord, we pray concerning our outreach, concerning our evangelism. Father, we pray that as many as you have appointed unto eternal life, as many as you have appointed unto salvation, that they will receive your word gladly. That they will receive your word gladly and glorify the word. And Father, we pray that as many as you have appointed, they will come unto salvation. They will believe the word. That the word of God will save them. The word of God will minister unto them. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, as we go, order the footsteps of the men and the women you have appointed unto salvation. Lord, order their footsteps that they may hear the word, that they may receive the word, that they may be converted by the word, and that the word of God will be glorified. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Father, we lift up our voice and we pray. Lord, do wonders with your word. Lord, do wonders with your word. Lord, do wonders with your word. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, do wonders with your word. As we go out, Jehovah, as many as you have appointed unto salvation, Lord, order their footsteps. Let the word of the Lord locate them. And let them locate the word of God. And let them be converted. 
let the word of the lord run swiftly and be glorified eh, as we go out eh, in the name of jesus christ eh, and the word of the lord will not return back to him void eh. heavenly precious father we lift up our voice oh god we lift up our voice oh god we lift up our voice oh god we pray for a change we pray for the conversion of souls we pray for the salvation of souls in the name of jesus christ in jesus mighty name we have prayed verse 49 and the word of the Lord was being spread throughout all the region. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It was beyond just the apostles. Those that had the word became evangelists. Praise the Lord. I, 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 I think, if I remember, I don't know if they still do it, town criers. They go around the villages. They, do they still have them now? They will make announcement and they will say, if you hear, tell, tell others. <laughs> Praise the Lord. They say, if you hear it, tell others. And so they will go around announcing whatever that needs to be announced. But the Bible said, and the word of the Lord was being spread. It was a continuous process. Not only from the day that Paul preached the word. It was continuously being spread. I want us to pray for the saturation of the word of God in Agege and the environs. That it will be a continuous process. That people that we hear will tell their friends. They will tell their families. Uh, when they go home, they will spread the word. Um, angels will even announce the word. Uh, as they announce the birth of Jesus Christ. Uh, let this word be carried uh, in the spirit, in the physical, all around the environment. Let us pray. Father, your word must pray around that KK. Your word must pray around the community. Your word must pray in Fagba, in Ishaga, and in all the local government. Lord, we lift up our voice and pray that you will raise evangelists, messengers, even ministering spirits. They will carry the word. They will carry the word. They will spread the word all around, even on the social media. Father, we pray that your word, that your word will spread like wildfire in the name of Jesus Christ. Nothing will hinder the word. Nothing will hinder the word. But the word will run speedily. The, run, the word will run expressly. In the name of Jesus Christ. We take away limitations. We take away barriers. But we move the word. And the word will move men and women. In the name of Jesus Christ. My Father and my God. Glorify your name. Lord glorify your name. Lord, glorify your name. Do wonders with your word, oh God. Do your wonders with your word. There will be no limitations. As we preach in Akeke, let them hear it in Ishaga. Let them hear it in Fakba. Let them hear it in Abulegba. Let them hear it in College Road. Let the word be carried by the Spirit. Let the word be moved by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, my Father and my God, we pray that the word of the Lord, we have a free movement. That the word of the Lord, we spread beyond our imaginations that the word of the Lord that Agege will experience a revival that Agege will experience a revival by the preaching of the word by the preaching of the word In Jesus mighty name we have prayed. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed. If we read verse 50, the same Acts chapter 13. The Bible said, but the Jews, everybody say Jews. Now they were supposed to be God's people. 
Amen. Amen. But the Bible said, but the Jews stir up the devout and prominent women and the chief men of the city. They raised up persecution against Paul and Barnabas and expelled them from their regions. It wasn't those that don't know God that did it. It was God's, God's people that raised opposition against the word of their God. Praise the Lord. If you read Acts chapter 14, Acts chapter 14, verse 2, are we there? He said, but the unbelieving Jews stir up the Gentiles and poison their mind against the brethren. They poison their mind. Amen. That's why Paul prayed that the Lord will deliver us from unreasonable and wicked men. Praise the Lord. There are sons of lawlessness. There are sons of wickedness. I want us to pray that all these people, whether they are called area boys, area father, and area so, 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 and so, but let's just lift up our voice in prayer. There is nobody that is beyond the reach of God. There is nobody that God cannot convert. Praise the Lord. I want us to lift up our voice and pray and say, Lord, all these agents of Satan, we take authority over them. We bind them. We suspend them from that environment. As the work of God prospers, that they will not be there. Lord, take them away from that place. Lord, uproot them from that place. That we will have liberty and dominion in the name of Jesus Christ. Lift up your face and begin to pray. Father, oh my God, troublemakers, agents of darkness, sons of wickedness, sons of lawlessness, sons of Belial. Lord, we lift up our voice against them. We bind their activities. We bind their activities. We pray that ministering spirits uh, will uproot them from that location. Um, we pray that ministering spirit, uh, ministering spirit uh, will uproot them uh, from that environment uh, and take them away uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, ministering spirit, uh, angels of this church, uh, locate these sons of Belial, uh, locate these sons of darkness, uh, wherever they are, silence them, uh, Lord silence them, uh, during and after the program, uh, let them be silenced, uh, we paralyze their activities, uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, my father and my God, we paralyze their activities. Oh, we render them powerless. We demobilize them. All the sons of darkness in that environment. Hear us in the spirit. The demons that govern you. We paralyze that demon. We bind that demon. In the name of Jesus Christ. We spread light in their environment. We roll away every darkness. Every dark cloud in this environment. Environment. In that environment, we roll them away. We roll them away. We pray for the entrance of light in that environment, in that community, in this community. Light, 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 light. Let there be light. Let there be light in the name of Jesus Christ. My Father and my God, their conspiracy will confuse them. Man do braseta ya balegede, lika bo se telebrande, ire ba ya ka tu le bo sonde gede, ira ka bo lika bo sa tamayande, ire bo sota kaya, le bro tamali, rabalegede, ire bo sota ya, rabakande, mane boro sota ya balegede, ire bo sota balagade. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, we bind those demons that walk through the children of darkness we bind those demons we exercise authority over that environment over that community we exercise authority in Jesus precious name we have prayed in Jesus precious name we have prayed in verse 3, the Bible says, Therefore, they stayed there a long time. Is that in your Bible? They stayed there what? 
Well, we are going to stay long in Agege in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. We are going to saturate that place with the word of God in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. They stayed there a long time, speaking boldly in the Lord, who was bearing witness to the word of his grace, granting signs and wonders to be done by their hands. Praise the Lord. I want us to lift up our voice and pray as the Lord. As we stay there, as we stay in Agege, you know, originally we had planned to be in Agege and Fagba and Ishagan, but now we will do a good job in Agege. We will stay there as long as the Lord wants us to be there. And we need to pray that the Lord will give us the boldness and the revelation of the word to be able to speak the mysteries of the kingdom the way we ought to. And that as the word of God is unleashed, signs and wonders will accompany it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's go ahead and pray. Boldness in the spirit. Boldness in proclamation. Boldness in preaching. Boldness in evangelism. The spirit of boldness. Our Father and our God. As we stay in Agege preaching your word. Lord, give us the spirit of boldness and revelation um, that we may be able to proclaim the mysteries of the kingdom the way we ought to. Lord, the mysteries of the kingdom, revelational knowledge, uh, revelation uh, that we will minister to the people according to their needs uh, and that there will be accompanying signs and wonders, uh, signs and wonders uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, um, our Father and our God. Uh, Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We pray that in Jesus' mighty name, that protocols will be broken, that strongholds will be broken, that barriers will be broken. In the name of Jesus Christ, Likabo Setele, Malekando Reboso Takaya, Ele Bayakande, Ele Broso Takaya, Ele Bayakande, Gedo, Rekrabu Sande, Le Bayikanda Bale, Rabakado, Le Broso Takaya, Rabayende, Gede. Elikabo se tele baya kandele, rabo se teke, rabaya, mani baya, kato broso teke de, elebro se tele bala. Our Father and our God, let your spirit move like never before. Let the power of God move like never before. And let there be evident miracles, uh, signs and wonders uh, that cannot be argued about in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, our Father and our God, that every member of this ministry become a miracle worker. As we preach, we are healing them. As we preach, we are saving them. In the name of Jesus Christ, uh, Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. For in Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Amen. For in Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Amen. In verse 51, the Bible said, After the persecution and the trouble, but they shook off the dust from their feet against them and came to Iconium. And they shook off the dust from their feet against them as a witness. Praise the Lord. And came to where? Econium. Verse 52, everybody. Again. How many of you were excited about last weekend? <laughs> Hallelujah. That is the joy that comes from doing the work of the Lord. I want us to pray that we too be refreshed. That every member of this commission that goes out for this assignment, um, oh, that will have that joy in the spirit, uh, that will be filled with the Holy Ghost, uh, that will have testimonies, um, supernatural encounters. In the name of Jesus Christ, lift up your voice and begin to pray. So, Lord, this outreach will give me joy. This outreach will give me fulfillment. Uh, this outreach will be a blessing to me. Uh, Go ahead and begin to declare it. Uh, that as we go, even we shall be refreshed. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, filled with joy. Filled with the Holy Ghost. Uh, filled with power. 
we will come back testifying of the goodness of the Lord. Like the 70 came back rejoicing that all demons were subject to them. Lord, even we, even we, like the 17, we will come back with joy. We will come back with testimony. We will come back with an announcement and proclamation that the Lord has manifested himself in the name of Jesus Christ. My Father, my God, we depend on you, O Lord. We depend on you, O Lord. Fill every man, fill every woman with your spirit afresh. Let there be a fresh fire upon every man, upon every woman as we go out to speak your word, as we go out to minister. Let there be divine unction. Let there be divine unction in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Genesis 11, the Lord said, The people are one and they speak the same language. He said, Nothing they imagine to do shall be withheld from them. I want us to pray that this month alone, that hundred souls will be added to this church. Let us stand by that decree. Because God said in Genesis 11, the people are one. They speak the same thing. He said, nothing they imagine to do shall be withheld from them. And so we need to declare it in unity that this month, Lord, we are expecting a great harvest. A great harvest of hundred souls added to your church this month. Do you believe that? Is God able to do it? Then let's speak to our Father in heaven about it. Lord, you are more than able. Lord, you are more than able. Lord, you are more than able. We believe you for a great harvest this month. Lord, we believe you for a great harvest. Lord, we expect a hundred souls to be added to your church. Lord, we expect a hundred souls to be added to your church. Lord, we expect a hundred souls to be added to your church. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we expect hundred souls in the month of October. Hundred souls. Hundred souls. Hundred souls to be added in the name of Jesus Christ. Our Father and our God, do what only you can do. For you said, I will build my church. I will build my church. I will build my church. Lord, may you build your church. Lord, may you increase your church. Lord, may you expand your church. In the name of Jesus Christ, in this month of October, let there be exceeding harvest. Let there be a great harvest of souls, of souls, of souls, of souls. We see them coming. We see them coming. We command them to come forth. In the name of Jesus Christ, we command the souls to come forth. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Father and our God, we thank you, Lord. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. For we see the souls coming. We see the souls coming. We see the kingdom expanding. We see the kingdom increasing. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Father, we say thank you. We bless your holy name. We bless your holy name. We bless your holy name. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. And God's people say, Amen. And God's people say, Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, the Bible said, As a man thinketh in his heart, so he is. Amen. There is something I cannot do for you. I cannot think for you. Please take your seat. I cannot think for you. But if I look at you, I can know the way you think. I want us to know that it is important we set our heart right. It is important that we condition our heart according to the word of God. Praise the Lord. Proverbs 23 says, My son, give me your heart. Verse 26. It says, My son, give me your heart and let your eyes observe. 
Let your eyes observe my ways. Faith to see the invisible. We just read it. We just heard it. You don't speak as you feel. You don't speak as you feel. Amen. Amen. We talk about having divine viewpoint. Or divine point of view is the same. Being able to see things through God's eyes. Amen. He said, let the poor say, I am rich. He didn't say, let the poor say, I am poor. Amen. Amen. One of the things that's keeping Christians poor today is their mouth. Some even will say it, but their heart will not agree with it. Do you understand it? They will get themselves to say, okay, okay, I am not poor. I am not poor, but when they lie down there alone, they say, this thing self, is it working? And so what they have fitted, they cancel it by themselves. Amen. Amen. It may not work immediately when you speak it, but believe me, it is working. If you keep watering it, if you keep watering it. The moment you begin to speak the word of God into your situation, the devil will try to distract you from speaking it. Because the devil knows that by the word of faith, anything is changeable. By the word of faith, any condition can be reversed. But you can also set the law of the spirit in your life. And there's nothing anybody can do about it. You can set the Lord of the Spirit. Nigeria is hard. Nigeria is, I don't complain about Nigeria. What's my business with Nigeria? Praise the Lord. The fact that I'm in Nigeria does not make me a Nigerian. Jesus said you are in the world, but you are not of this world. So I shouldn't talk like Nigerian. I shouldn't think like Nigerian. You know why? Because I am not. It may sound strange to you, but that's who I am. I am not a Nigerian. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But those that take ownership of Nigeria, they complain about the governor, they complain about the president, they complain, about, and they bring judgment upon themselves. Okay, you are complaining. What has it changed? No. We, can, can you remove Tinibu? And so you just vex your spirit for nothing. A market woman will blame Tinibu. Students will blame Tinibu. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Look, we are not politicians. We are Christians. It is a big difference. Amen. Amen. Don't play game of politics when you are not one. Stay with what God said you are. If any man be in Christ, any man, if you are in Christ, you are what? A new creation. That's it. Stay with what God says you are. That is more true than what you can see and hear about Nigeria. And I've told you in this church severally, don't quote they said. Amen. Don't quote they said in your life. Quote God said. Live on what God said. Believe on what God said. And your life will be transformed. Only the word of God is irrevocable. A man can be discussing with you that Nigeria is a bad country. And then he gets a contract the following week. When you talk about Nigeria, say, my friend, don't talk about it. This country is good. He said, but... You, you, didn't you say last week? He said that was last week. He will tell you, I just got a contract of 30 million. He said, only in Nigeria it can happen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Only in Nigeria it can happen. 
We don't know the beauty incorporated in this, in this country. You are faith will walk here more than any other person, more than any other place. You don't know it. I've been to a place, I said, uh, what you? I said, my name is Pastor Afa. I said, is that your first name or second name? <laughs> because they don't know what pastor is. Are you hearing me? I'm not talking about a backward country. I'm talking about Europe. They say, uh, you say I'm a pastor. Is that, is that your first name or second name? <laughs> but anywhere you go in this country, I mention pastor. They first they say, pray for us. Are you hearing me? We have a level of spiritual education that many countries in the world don't have. Did you hear? We have spiritual enlightenment that many nations in the world do not have. Amen? Amen. Somebody was diagnosed that he, she was sick and she was saying, I cannot be sick in Jesus' mighty name by the blood. I cannot be sick. I cannot be sick by the blood of Jesus. They carried her to Psychia in Munich. PDA is there. She knows. Are you hearing me? What you will confess and get away with? <laughs> they looked at her they said, madness has come. It took time for her to be released. And when the case came to me, I said to her, I said, don't be foolish next time. Amen? When we sing, hallelujah is a heavenly language. It is among those that are saved that know it now. Amen? So if you go to the unbelievers and start saying hallelujah, they will be looking at you. Dr. Miles Monroe said that he went, he was invited to the United Nations to speak for his nation. He said he couldn't say praise the Lord and hallelujah there. He said because it's not meant for that place. You get it. And that is why some of your confession is not meant for your drunkard friends. They came to you and you're saying, um, <laughs> I am rich in Jesus' name, I'm poor. I'm not poor in Jesus' name, I'm rich. And they're looking at you and say, bro, have you taken something? <laughs> you know why? You are saying the right thing in the midst of the wrong people. Faith killers. Even your parents can be faith killers. They ask you money for provision. You say you don't have. And they had you saying, I cannot be poor. I am rich. I am rich. The, your mom called the daddy and said, our son is going a bit crazy. I heard him saying he cannot be poor. Meanwhile, he is very poor. Praise the Lord. The mystery of the kingdom is not revealed to all. It is only revealed to those that knows the kingdom and that are part of the kingdom. And that is why you should have a kingdom friend. You should have a kingdom friend. We don't look at the visible. We look at the invisible. He said, my son, give me your heart and let your eyes observe my ways. When we observe the word of God, we will speak like God. We will act like God. Praise the Lord. If you eat what you have, you act as if you have eaten the best buffet in the world. Because that diet will change. Don't let your present realities destroy tomorrow's encounter. Because there will be an encounter tomorrow. There will be a visitation tomorrow. As the Lord liveth. Have you forgotten the man called Simeon in Luke chapter 2, I believe? God said you will not die until you see the consolation of Israel. And then when Jesus was born and brought into the temple, after he has dedicated the temple, he said, Lord, let me now, let me go. Let me go in peace. In the same way, you too can say, I will not die until I test prosperity on earth. Amen. That's a valid prayer. Amen. How can you be born in suffering and die in suffering? Where is the goodness of God? You can make up your mind. You can say it. I refuse to die until I experience and I test the glory. Yes, when we make heaven, we'll see the glory. But you were not meant to die as a peasant on earth. 
Praise the Lord. I was telling them this morning that even to be a pastor is no longer cheap. A good study Bible now is expensive. Just one study Bible can be over 50,000. In fact, there are the ones that cost about 150,000 naira. One Bible, not two. Not two. So, salvation. If you are going to be a player in the kingdom game or in the kingdom program, you can't play it with poverty. The outreach we are having, we just ordered very few, very few equipment, not so much, four speakers, small monitors, and the stand, and all that. Everything is over 10,000 euros. That's 18 million. I didn't say we bought a container, just four speakers, four monitors. If they put the thing there, it will not even cover here for the program, for the outreach. We just ordered it. When they gave me prize, I was shouting. And it's over 10,000 euro. And so, we are investing in the outreach. And therefore, God will give us a reward. And you can even look at it and say, look, the flyer, the flyer we are sharing. When they brought it first, I said, how many is, how much is 5,000? I was betting about 30, 40,000 naira. Where is Sunday? I said, how much is 5,000? They said, how much? 400,000. 400,000 naira. I didn't say, how much is it to buy the printing press? I didn't think I had correctly. I said, how many copies are we talking about? They said 5,000. 400,000 naira. Salvation is free, but the gospel is expensive. And God is looking for those that want to finance so that he can send money to their department. And so if you think about the gospel, the Lord gave the word, but great was the company of those that published it. Sign in to be a publisher of the word and you see how you will be blessed. Praise the Lord. So this outreach is an opportunity for you to grow. It's an opportunity for... Listen, you may not put in money, but you can say to yourself, 30 souls will come to church by my hand. I will bring 30 souls to you. He said, let God look upon that souls and bless me. And God will take such deal. God is a deal maker. Are you hearing me? My boy said to me one day, he said, Daddy, why are we always making deal in this family? I said to him, because we don't fight, we are business people. He said, okay. And then from there, he will come to me and say, Daddy, let's make a deal. He has become a deal maker. Praise the Lord. God is a deal maker. God is the, listen to Jacob. If you will take me to where I'm going and bring me back and cause me to see my father again, he said, I will give you 10% of everything I make. God loves business. Amen. So, the evangelism is an opportunity for your increase. There are people, their money can go. There are people, their prayers can go. There are people that their less can go. But whichever one that goes, make sure you go somewhere. We have this program throughout this month of October. Be a part of it. Amen. Amen. Because in it is your seed of growth. In it is your possibility of enlargement. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Don't wait for them to tell you what happened at the outreach. Be there to tell others. Oh, I was so happy. That Friday, Saturday, I was so happy, so excited. Amen. Amen. And when you have such joy in your spirit, it shows that you have accomplished something. And then Friday, Saturday, day after tomorrow, we are going again. The same place, the same time. Praise the Lord. Five o'clock in Agege, under the bridge. Amen. Amen. Please. Make an appointment to be there. Make yourself ready to be there. Don't be there for me. Don't be there because I say so. 
be there because you are a Christian. Be there because Jesus said, go. Do you understand? Don't, no, no. I will be there for myself for the work of God. So you will be there also. And the reason why I'm going is because Jesus said, go ye. Go ye. Go ye. Praise the Lord. The gospel will take you to some places you don't want to go. What will I be doing in Agege if not for the preaching of the gospel? Agege, a fair place. But thank God for the gospel. We will stay there a long time. Oh. Until we take ownership spiritually of that place, we will stay there. Do I have a witness here? Yes, sir. We will take ownership of that place. So get ready. Friday, 5 o'clock. Praise the Lord. And it's just from 5 to before 7, we close. And then we are able to reach many. We are able to reach many. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Will you be there? Yes, sir. I will be there too. And all we say that wear a white top if you have. Don't let that be the reason why you wouldn't come. If you don't have white, wear your black or wear your color. Amen. Because some people will use that and say, I don't have white now. No. It is better you wear colored than for you to wear white that turn to brown and yellow. Just to help you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because we are representing Jesus. So whatever you wear, look neat. Look neat. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Say thank you, Jesus. thank you, Jesus. Are you excited? Yes, are you looking forward to it? And remember, on Saturday, all the leaders also, we are fasting towards our program. And like I said, throughout the month of October, Wednesdays and Saturdays, all the leaders will fast. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Don't say you are thinking not to be a leader again. <laughs> Amen. <laughs>